Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. To make it easier to service the engine, you may wish to position the snowblower on its front and have little or no gasoline in the tank. Before you begin any disassembly, make sure the engine has cooled. Turn off the fuel valve and remove the start key. Your first step in disassembling the engine is to pull off the choke shaft knob. Next, remove the screws to release the upper snow shield. Disconnect the primer hose and the start key wire harness to detach the shield. Now remove the screws to release the lower snow shield and pull it off. Remove the screw securing the starter motor's gear cover and pull it off. Next, use a 13 mm socket to remove the mounting bolts securing the starter motor and pull the motor off. Pull off the throttle knob. Remove the screws securing the control panel and pull the panel off. Your next step is to remove the bolts securing the blower housing and pull the housing off. Remove the screws securing the ignition coil and move the ignition coil out of the way. Next, you will need to stabilize the flywheel. You can use a strap wrench to do this. Have an assistant hold the flywheel in place, then use a socket to loosen the retaining nut. This will require some effort. Remove the nut, the flywheel cup, and the fan. Then re-thread the nut. Now use a puller to detach the flywheel from the crankshaft. Remove the puller and nut and pull the flywheel off along with the flywheel key. To reassemble the engine, first insert the flywheel key into the slot in the crankshaft. Reposition the flywheel by aligning the slot in the flywheel with the flywheel key and sliding it onto the crankshaft. Replace the fan and the flywheel cup and thread the nut. Secure by torquing the nut to manufacturer specifications. Now reposition the ignition coil and insert the mounting bolts. Make sure to secure the grounding wire under the appropriate bolt. Pull the coil back and tighten the bolts. Now. Rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the bolts to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the bolts and remove the business card. Reposition the blower housing. and secure it with the bolts. Reposition the control panel and secure it with the screws.
Replace the throttle knob. Now position the motor on the engine and secure it with the bolts. Torque the bolts to manufacturer's specifications. Replace the gear cover on the blower housing and secure it with the screw. Replace the lower snow shield and secure it with the screws. Connect the start key wire harness and primer hose to the upper snow shield. Reposition the shield. Secure the screws and slide on the choke shaft knob. With the engine fully reassembled, you can now turn the fuel valve back on and return the start key to the engine.